Hi, I'm Mr. Ms. Baladina. I'm the STEM supervisor, and my resolution this year is to read more physical books. My New Year's resolution is to make my coffee at home. All right, my New Year's resolution is to run every street of Maplewood and South Orange. Hello, CHS. Welcome to Columbia Cougar News. We have a special episode this week as some teachers and students will be returning to the building for in-person learning. CCN's Eli Fishman went back into the building to see what new improvements have been made and what the school is doing to keep students safe. We are back in the building. It's my first time here since March 13th. Um, and we're here, you know, just walking in. The first thing that's gonna be different is every single grade is gonna be entering from somewhere else. Seniors will be entering at this main entrance. And in like, unlike before, when everyone just came through this entrance, every grade will be elsewhere. Freshmen, you'll be entering at the cafeteria. Juniors, you'll be entering at the main gym. Sophomores at the Ritzer doors. And seniors, you'll be entering at the main entrance. Also, we have a schedule change. It's not gonna be the normal A, B days with the same order that it was last time. A days will look like period one, period two, period three, period six, while B days will look like period five, period four, period eight, period seven, then after the lunch period is period nine. But everything after the 11 to the 11.50 slot is online. So period nine and conferencing and office hours will all be online. We are here with Principal Sanchez. So I walk into the building, I'm at this point. I see we have, uh, you know, the stickers over here going in different directions. And I wanna go up these stairs. Is this a one-way stairwell or these one-way hallways? You know, what's going on here? Oh, welcome back, first of Thank all. Thank you. So <laughs> glad to see everyone back. Um, what we decided to do, because the school is so large, that um, instead of having just directional hallways, I mean, if you could imagine, if you had a class right here and you had to go to that room, but then if it was one way, you'd have to go around the entire, that's like a right. quarter of a mile, <laughs> right? So what we decided to do instead was to put these stickers here to remind you to go um, six feet apart, but also to stay to the right, kind of like you're driving, right? Right. So you wanna wash your hands, we have hand sanitizers at all spots um, in every single classroom, but also, and it's full, we checked, <laughs> all right? Um, in addition to that, this staircase though, because staircases are um, thinner, right? They're not as open as our hallways. We are making our staircases up and down, but you still have 10 minutes to get to class, so it's okay. Uh, this is a down staircase, so you wouldn't be able to go to A200s this way, but that's okay, because you'll be able to go right the next staircase from here, and the next staircase here is also, it just keeps alternating. Now, for someone who's skepti skeptical about coming back to school, what would your message be for them? Well, I think this is a tough decision for every family. It's an individual one. But I can say this. Today, we spent over five hours touring the building with our architects, with our teachers, and fellow administrators just to make sure that this building is ready and that it meets the air standards um, that you would expect. Okay, so we're here in a classroom. I come in, I sit down at my desk. What's the next step? Teachers will let you know where to sit. There will be a seating chart. We need that seating chart really for just contact tracing, you know, so see where you were sitting and to, to who very close and things like that. Um, when you're online, I, I wanna just thank really the Board of Education and, and our central office um, and our technology director. They were able to quadruple the uh, bandwidth here at school. So in just, in just the last month. So a lot of people will be able to use the computers as the teacher will be teaching from his or her desk, right? Um, to, the, to the, we'll call them the Zoomers, but the kids on yeah. Google Meet, right? So the kids in the room, the students in the room will be following along. Um, and then maybe they'll be doing different activities here and there. But at the end of the day, we want the same experience for the students who are here as well as the students who are home. Yes, you'll be able to have your own computer, right? Um, and we're gonna provide in the next few days for you uh, the instructions on how to get on the Wi-Fi using your own personal device. If you wanna use a Google, if you already have a Chromebook that we've given you, you keep that one. But if you need an additional one, if you haven't used one, but let's say at home you were using a desktop, right? And now you need a laptop, then we'll be uh, doing a survey this week so you can get one of those. And yes, you can then be on that same Google Meet. You can uh, be using uh, the Canvas 
so you don't have to do it later tomorrow or anything. You could do the activity right there. So in addition to the hand sanitizer in a lot of classrooms, we have these plexiglasses to divide students and teachers and students at times. So, you know, a lot of things to limit the spread. Also for the bathrooms, each teacher will only have one pass to hand out to students. So there's as limited amount of people in the bathrooms as possible. Socially distancing still in effect in the bathrooms and everywhere throughout the building. Also, in terms of masks, super strict about mask wearing, and you'll be getting warnings if you have your mask down and you can potentially be moved to virtual learning. And also, for mask wearing, you cannot wear these kind of masks. You have to wear the protective mas masks that are not the gaiters, the ones that go around your ears. Students will also be provided with masks at the beginning of the day if they need, and after class, they will be given wipes to wipe down their desks. That's it for the episode of CHS. Hope you enjoy the rest of your week, and remember we have a new schedule. I'm Quentin McIntosh. See you next week.